Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very relaxed today. I was even I was even contemplating grabbing my blanket and closing up with my blanket, but I decided against it. I don't know why. I kind of regret it now. Hold on one second. Okay. We have my blanket and we have, it should be a cup of tea, but it isn't. It's my water because I'm lacking on my water intake today. But welcome to my new series on my channel. Something along the lines of reading rambles with Rachel. Basically an entire video series where I basically just talk about anything bookish that comes to mind that I want to discuss with you that doesn't fit in its own video. So I'll be talking today specifically on books I've recently brought, books I've recently added to my TBR, books that aren't currently interesting me to read, other bookish news like maybe one of my favourite books of last year becoming a TV show and just a whole realm of bookish things. So sit back, relax. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be because I like to talk, hence the rambles portion of the title. Um, so grab a cup of tea, relax, join me in a blanket and we'll get right into my first topic that I wanna discuss with you guys today. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's probably gonna be all over the place because I'm gonna just ramble and see what comes out. So it's not gonna be too much structure, but we're gonna start with the first section of Recently purchased, um, I just tend to buy books here and there so I never really have enough for like a full on book haul or book unboxing so I thought it'd be a nice place to put it and intersperse it within this sort of video. So I've told myself for 2021 to pre-order more books to support my favourite authors. So the two pre-orders that have recently come in, uh, one of them's Concrete Rose by Andy Thomas. This is a prequel to The Hate You Give all about Star's father and how he came to be basically in Garden Heights. Very, very excited to get to this book. Really, really hate the UK cover. I know it matches, like it matches the hate you give, but I don't know, I hate the orange. I don't like the blue tones. I just, it's not doing anything for me. I don't like it. Um, this is just about doable. <laughs> I just don't like, I'm very much an animating kind of like animation style cutesy cartoony style book cover person i'm not a real life person on book covers person so these book covers don't really give me anything but at least they match i just don't particularly like the orange and blue tones of this one but nevertheless i'm very very excited to read it and see kind of where garden heights began with maverick so that's the first book i pre-ordered and that book came out on January 12th, if you didn't know. And the other book I pre-ordered was First Day of My Life by Lisa Williamson. Um, this is about a, I've already read it by the way, it's a whole reading vlog on my channel of reading one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link up above and down below for you guys to check it out. But this book basically follows our main character Frankie and her best friend Jojo just runs away one day and goes missing and leaves no traces, leaves no signs, nobody knows where she's gone. So Frankie is on a mission to find her and a baby is involved. You don't know how the baby's involved, but you start the prologue with someone reporting a baby gone stolen. So you kind of start to make assumptions and all this sort of stuff. And then there's a massive reveal at the end. This was a iffy book. The whole vlog goes into why. I still gave it a four stars. I still really enjoyed it because of Lisa Williamson's writing style and how captivating she makes her characters. But I have already read a book very similar to this plot and I just couldn't deconnect. I couldn't disconnect from read it like the two books. So I found it very difficult, um, a little bit disappointed as this was one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. But there we have it. Those are the two books I've recently pre-ordered and received. The other books I have pre-ordered are Hearts of a Volume 4 by Alice Oldsman, as well as the Mask Falling signed edition by Samantha Shannon, which is the fourth book in the Bone Season series. Yay, very, very exciting. <laughs> so that's section one over. Woohoo, we've been speaking for five minutes already. Time to take a drink. Obviously, everyone makes their 2021 goals, a video, or things you want to accomplish in 2021, whether you address them to the world like I did, or keep them privately to you. And although all the goals I spoke about in that video still stand true, another one I want to include, and I am trying to actively make this a massive goal of mine this year now, is to read at least two POV authors every single month and buy at least one every month. 
just so I constantly continue to diversify my bookshelf and what I'm reading and make sure that percentage between white and POC and black authors is not as wide as it was last year. Very guiltily, I think it's about 70 to 30. I would love to make that more like 60, 40, 50, 50. So that is one of the goals I'm highly working towards now um, after properly looking at all my stats and seeing like how to improve. Um, I'm going to try and read at least two POV slash black authors every single month and buy at least one book from a POV, from a POC or marginalised author. So that's a quick goal I wanted to quickly talk about and add in there. What else? I've written all the talking points on my Notion. <laughs> I love Notion. Um, Oh my god, yeah. My first video has reached a thousand views. Not my first video I uploaded, but the one of out of like, like I don't know how many videos I've made now since June, but a lot of my videos only ever reach like 300 max. So to have a video reach a thousand views, that video is my reading vlog, my 24 hour reading vlog for They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I have no idea why it's reached so many people. But what's funny is if I actually look at the statistics and the like analytics of that video, everyone only watched it. It's like a half hour video, only people watch it for like two minutes and then they click off it. So it's clearly um, highly searched, but not view retention is low. Like not many people watch it whatsoever. It's just funny that it's reached a thousand views, over a thousand. I think it's like 1,106 now or something, which is crazy. It's still like one of my top videos that gets viewed every single day. I don't even like it, I watch it back and I cringe so, so much. So yeah, that's just something, a mini milestone, very cool for one of my first videos to reach a thousand views. Also on the topic of videos, I had a really, really cool video idea pop into my head the other day where it's called rekindling my old favourites, as in a big emphasis on rekindling. Um, <laughs> Story that not many people know is that I got into reading on my old iPad mini. Um, I think I brought the iPad and I was like, oh my God, there's a books app. And then I tried to read a few books. This was like way before I actually read vividly like I do now. Um, and I read a few books on there. <laughs> I tried to read the book Thief by Marcus Zusak. That was one of the first books I remember trying to read and never getting into it. I've tried to read it like three times now. It doesn't, it's not happening. I'm not reading that book. Um, but another series I tried to read was Three Girls and a Baby series by Rachel Schurig, I think is her name. I haven't looked at those books in so long. But I was looking at my iBooks account the other day and so many old books that I read or have started to read or I downloaded in interest of reading back in like 2014 came up. And including Three Girls and a Baby and the rest of the series, there's like five books in that series, as well as... Um, Break, the Breaking Ties series by Tracy Someone. I'll put all the covers up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And it made me think of a really cool video idea where I reread Rekindling My Old Phase because I remember really, really enjoying the Three Girls and the Baby series as well as the Breaking Ties trilogy. Um, so I feel like I want to vlog them, reread them and call the series rekindling my old faves because iBooks is kind of like a Kindle. I like to play on words, it works, it's a good title. Leave me alone, I don't own a Kindle but the title works. <laughs> so yeah, I thought of that video idea so if that would be of interest to you let me know in the comments down below. Um, I would really like to do that actually. I'm really <laughs> smoothly going into the next section I'll talk about is books that are catching my attention at the minute to read and one of them is the Breaking Ties series. What is, it's not actually called Breaking Ties, I'm looking up on my phone. What is it actually called? Tracy Puckett, um, Breaking Rules is the first one, Breaking Walls is the second and Breaking Ties is the third one. It's just called the Breaking series, if you can see. You know on like iBooks when it's like top 10 free books to read and then back when I was like 14 I had no money so I only read the free ones and it was rare that the free ones were good. This was actually a good free one but they only gave the first book away for free and then you had to buy the rest. Clearly I like the series so much I've actually purchased the other two. 
yeah so if you like that video idea leave it down below and i will think about doing it most likely i will do it because it's something i want to do and this channel not only is it for you guys to watch it's for me to enjoy filming stuff for um <laughs> Books that are currently catching my attention to read is the Breaking series by Tracy Puckett. So maybe a video series for that vlog idea I had will come sooner than later. But another few books that I'm really kind of interested in reading at the minute is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I can't bother to go get the book. I'm in my blanket. I'm a cozy. But I do have the first book of that series and I'm really interested in reading it. I may have a buddy read coming up with it, which is really exciting. What other books? I don't want to like spoil, I have a whole video coming out called uh, Books I Want to Reread. So, but Renegades is a book that I'm interested in reading sooner rather than later. But, but I don't want to spoil it. You know, I did that entire video of anticipated releases of 2021. I knew as soon as I was going to post that video, more and more books were going to get announced that I wanted to read. One of them being um, Giovanna Fletcher's new book, which it, Giovanna Fletcher is like my favourite author of all time. You can't see, but all her books are here. Like, I have all her books. There's more of them. Um, don't you worry. But they're all signed, personalised to me. I met her. There's a whole story alongside that but it's very exciting. She has a new book out November of 2021 called Walking on Sunshine. Have no clue what it's about. The cover is pretty. It's white and blue and yellow. It's gorgeous. I'm going to read it. I need to pre-order it. So that's another book I need to pre-order for sure. Another one of my autobot authors is uh, Lindsay Kelk. She wrote the I Heart series. I have read this entire series via audiobook. Um, I'm trying to collect all the physical co copies now. Wow, my throat's gone <coughs> weird. I love this series. I'm trying to read her backlist, but she just keeps releasing new, more books and more books and more books. I'm ruining my bookshelves here. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> but Lindsay Kelk only a few days ago released uh, information on her newest release called um, On A Night Like This, which is out Christmas 2021. So I'm very, very excited about that one. Have no idea what it's about, but you bet I will be picking it up and reading it, most likely pre-ordering it as well to support her. Um, so yeah, there's only a few more topics I want to discuss in this. I also just want to kind of have a chit chat about video length. I know that sounds like a really weird topic, but let me know your thoughts on video lengths in the comments down below. But I think I've come to the conclusion that I prefer filming as well as watching around 15 minute videos. I just, there's so much I want to do in a day. There's so much that I have on my to-do list that I can't sit down and watch like half hour videos, however much I want to. So I either have to try and learn to watch them on like two times speed. So they like turn into like 15 minute videos or I just end up putting them in my watch later and never getting around to them because they're so long. So if you have half hour videos, I do try and watch them, I promise. But for me personally, I just feel like my channel would benefit and I would produce content that I would prefer if it was around 15 minutes. So that is kind of like my new aim. If you've kind of seen, not that anyone would actually notice, but all my videos at the minute have been around the 15 minute mark, sometimes reaching to like 17 minutes, but always between 10 and 15 mainly. And I am preferring it that way. They're quicker to edit. I just don't ramble as much. I think that's why I'm kind of creating this. So I'm a bit more concise in those videos and I can just kind of let loose a bit more in this kind of style video. But yeah, tend to be around 15 minutes, but let me know what you guys think of video length in the comments down below. I would love your feedback, whether you actually prefer longer videos from me because you just can't wait to hear more of me talk <laughs> or you can't wait to and look at my face for a half hour video. I don't know, but let me know your thoughts on that below. I would kind of love to know where you kind of stand on a favorite length of video as I know a lot of people prefer under 10 minute videos, a lot of people prefer longer videos. So let me know. And then the last thing I want to talk about, I, I have to get the book one second. Oh, stretch, stretch. This beauty of a book is being turned into a TV show. Yay. <laughs> I am so, so excited. I have no idea where the TV show is going to air. I have a few notes on it here, 
that I wanted to kind of bring up. It's going to be Gabrielle Union's production company um, called I'll Have Another that are adapting it. Never heard of that production company, but I don't really look into production companies to be fair, so no wonder I haven't heard of it. But she is a fellow black female um, who has started up her own production company. I think if I put a picture on screen, people would recognise her. Um, I think it's just me who don't, who doesn't know who she is really. Um, but she wanted to adapt, I'm going to read it, what I've got on my notes so I don't get it incorrect. Um, but she feels like she's connected to Johnson's story, um, which this is, a, by the way, a non-fiction YA memoir about George M. Johnson's life um, as they grow up in America being black and queer. So she feels connected to Johnson's story as she's bringing up a queer identifying daughter. And I just absolutely love that. I am so excited to watch this. I will get, I'll watch it somehow, even if it's on like HBO Max or Hulu or I don't know where it's gonna air, but I'm watching it. I am so, so, so excited. And if you haven't read the book yet, highly recommend you pick up this book, please, now. Thank you. I have so many videos roving about this book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. So I'm so excited to hear that this has been turned into a TV show. I'm gonna try and keep you guys updated in this series if more information about it comes out as we go through the months. But I don't know if the film has been halted because of COVID. I literally don't know much about it at all apart from George M. Johnson themselves tweeted about it. So it's pretty official, but yeah. Very, very exciting. I'm very excited about that. I've really made a mess of my um, bookcase, haven't I? You can't see it because, but it's all like this side. <laughs> Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I've done Lindsay Kelk's new book. I've done my first video to reach a thousand. I've told you about my video ideas of rekindling old favorites. Books recently added to my TBR. <clears throat> I've done about All Boys Aren't Blue TV show, I've talked about my new goals, and I've done my book haul. Oh, the last one I want to read. I would really like your guys' opinion or links or anything if you can help me out. I really want to read a book called Black Buck by Matteo Ascapor. I'm probably butchering that name, but I really tried. Um, I'll put a cover up on screen here like I do. I'll move to the side and the book will come in. I love that new way of editing. If you like it, hit me up, let me know give this video a like. <laughs> but I love how like the cover is full screen. No offense to anyone who just puts a mini cover like here or here, um, but a full screen when you move along, so just a little bit more artsy. I like it, that's my new vibe. I like it, I'm going with it. Anyway, so I'll put a picture up on the screen. This book is impossible to get hold of. I can't find it anywhere. As far as I'm aware, it's a self-help slash fiction book, which is one of the first of its kind. I'm probably, not saying that correctly, but it's not done very often anyway. Um, and I really, really want to read it. It's about a black guy who starts off working in Starbucks and tries to work his way up in the career ladder to make a life for himself. I think I'll, shall we get the synopsis up? But basically in the UK, it came out on January 12th and in the UK, I cannot find it anywhere, like anywhere. The only place I can find it is Amazon for 18 pounds hardback. Hardbacks in the UK are not that expensive. Hardbacks tend to be about twelve ninety nine. I am not paying like twenty quid for a hardback book that, although although I want to read, I may not enjoy. Let's read the synopsis. If you know what book I'm talking about and you found it somewhere, if you're based in the UK, leave me a link, please, in the description, in the description, in the comments, because I really want to read it, but I can't find it anywhere. But. I'll quickly read you the synopsis. It's about a young man given a shot at stardom as the lone black salesman at a mystery cult like a mod successful startup where nothing is as it seems. There's nothing like a black salesman on a mission. An, um, un, an unambitious 22 year old Darren lives in a bed study, brown stone with his mother who wants nothing more than to see him live up to his potential as valedictorian of Bronx science. Darren is content working at Starbucks in the lobby of a midtown office building, hanging out with his girlfriend and eating his mother's home cooked meals. All that changes when a chance encounters with Rhett Daniels, the silver tongue CEO of Sun One, NYC's hottest tech startup, results in an exclusive invitation for Darren to join an elite sales team on the 36th floor. An enduring 
After enduring a hell week of training, Dar Darren, the only black person in the company, reimagined himself as Buck, a ruthless salesman unrecognisable to his friends and family. And when things turn tragic at home and Buck feels like he's hit rock bottom, he begins to hatch a plan to help young people of colour in Defril, America's sales force, setting off a chain of events that forever change the game. Black Buck is a hilarious razor sharp skewing of black of America's workforce in its propulsive crackling debut that explores ambition and race and makes way for an unnecessary new vision of the American dream. Doesn't that just sound so good? I know I like stepped over my words way too many times in that short synopsis, but um it sounds so good yet I can't get hold of it and I'm very, very annoyed. <laughs> so if anyone has heard of that book and seen it around that they can like link to me. Highly appreciate it. I don't really want to pay too much. Like, it's not even on iBooks. Like, I can't... It's not even on iBooks, which is where I buy my eBooks if I have to buy eBooks. But look. Black Buck. This is where it's, like, come out in the last, like, few days and I can now buy it. No. See? I've searched for Black Buck and nothing comes up. <clears throat> I'm kind of, um, salty about that, to be fair. Why aren't books, when they come out, just available everywhere? It would really benefit me and I know a lot of other people too. So <laughs> that's the last point I wanted to discuss in today's video, I think. Yeah, my my tick list is done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this style video, this more like relaxed, chilled, chat with me sort of video. I really enjoy just like rambling off my thoughts and feelings to you guys. Um, just a chilled up resting on the back of my bed video. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. I had fun just rambling and chatting to you guys. You just feel like my friends now. So you're here with me. My rambles, my shit thoughts, everything is being word vomited in this video. And if you did enjoy it, I will continue to make them like monthly or bi-weekly or something like that. Whenever I have like a collection of bookish thoughts to tell you guys, I will make this sort of sit down video and just chat with you guys. So you can have like me on in the background while you're like cleaning or bullet journaling or colouring in or knitting or whatever you do as a pastime and you want some noise to keep you company, especially if you live alone during a lockdown or COVID. I know it can get a bit lonely. I've put on a lot of podcasts at the minute to try and counteract the um, not having to talk to my parents all the time. <laughs> I know that sounds really harsh but talking to the same people day in day out when you have no new like fresh people to talk to can get quite annoying um so if you're kind of in that situation and want to talk to someone new I'm here I've got you um with this new video series I don't know what to call it if you have any suggestions on what to name it I'm thinking reading rambles with Rachel because I like the uh, three r's I do ramble it's about reading and I'm called Rachel so it kind of fits but let me know if you have any better name suggestions because I'm not creative in that way whatsoever. I'm creative when it comes to design, I guess. I'm a designer if you didn't know that. But not when it comes to words. So let me know. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below to see more content from me. And if you're looking forward to the next Reading Rambles with Rachel video, like take two, then let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.